A reading from Matthew, chapter 26. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death. But they did not find any, though many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two came forward and declared, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent. The high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. This is the word of the Lord. In uh, the book of Galatians, in chapter 3, the Apostle Paul repeated an Old Testament warning first given to God's people in the days of Moses. Cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Cursed, doomed to destruction, is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Have you ever been dishonest and broken the Eighth Commandment? Then you have not continued to do everything written in the book of the law. Have you ever given in to covetousness, that is, sinful desires, and broken the Ninth and Tenth Commandments? Then you have not continued to do everything written in the book of the law. Have you ever called yourself a Christian and then didn't act like one and so broke the second commandment by misusing God's name? Then you have not continued to do everything written in the book of the law. These sins and others put us into the category of those who by nature are cursed, doomed to destruction, because we have not continued to do everything written in the book of the law. To use more familiar familiar language, we justly deserve God's present and eternal punishment. The good news for us, though, is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the one who is without sin, the one who continuously and faithfully did everything written in the book of the law. He is the Lamb of God without spot or blemish or stain. In our gospel reading for today, the enemies enemies of Jesus want to find him guilty of sin. They are busy looking for false evidence against Jesus because there is no real evidence of sin in Jesus. Jesus is the Lamb of God without spot or blemish or stain, who willingly sacrificed himself on the cross for us and for our salvation. 2 Corinthians 5 reads, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us. God made him who was not doomed to destruction, doomed to suffer the anguish of hell for us. God made him who was not cursed, cursed by hanging him on a pole. God made him who was not subject to his wrath, endure his wrath. On a dark Good Friday afternoon, endure it in our place as our substitute. Thanks be to God for his mercy to us in Christ. Because you are baptized into Christ, because the Holy Spirit has given you the gift of faith in Christ, because God loves you, he has made you in Christ the opposite of cursed, blessed. You are not doomed to destruction. Instead, the resurrected Jesus is preparing a place for you in heaven. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you despise nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts, that lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, 
we may receive from you full pardon and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.